Australia Day. A day where Aussies celebrate all things great about the land down under. Whether it's our vast, unforgiving deserts or our pristine coastlines. The native animals that may or may not want to kill us. And of course, we love our Aussie icons. From Paul Hogan to Kathy Threeman. But there is one man who has been our darting icon for well over a decade. And today we are honouring a true blue Aussie darts icon. So hold on to your mullets ladies and gentlemen because today we are celebrating Simon Whitlock and his new darts. Simon Whitlock has been Australia's premier dart player for well over a decade now. He has come so close to a World Championships, 2008 BDO runner-up against Mark Webster and the 2010 PDC World Championships against the great Phil Taylor. Winner of the 2012 European Open, he is still a player that is capable of hitting high scores and devastating finishes. Simon Whitlock has shown his true Aussie grit at performing at the highest level for as long as he has. I have always loved watching him play. Sometimes you'll never know what you're gonna get from him, but he's Team Australia and we love him. And as they say, if you're not rooting for the home side, get out of the stadium. So let's move on to the table and have a close up look of the Simon Whitlock darts. The new Winmore Simon Whitlock Dynamic Edge Special Edition 90% Tungsten Darts. Whew, that's a mouthful. The Whitlock Darts have always been on my radar to review since the start of 2021. And I was torn between getting the Urban Grip Darts or wait to see if they release a new set, which they did, so I'm actually glad I waited because these are a thing of absolute beauty. Uh, I'm not going to spend any time on the packaging. It's all pretty generic from Winmore, so there's no need to read it or anything like that. So just as we pop the darts out, we can just see the, the onyx black coating with the 24 karat gold coating as well and that is that is real gold so they're not skimping here win more going all out with these bad boys so as usual we do get the very nice win more point protector a very high quality point protector one of my favorite point protectors I reckon I've ever got with a set of darts also you get my favorite the Vectra stems they are the short Vectra stems and the Winmore Extra Thick Prism Flights, which are very, very nice. I like the look of those. I think we'll keep that set up for the entire video, actually. So let's get them set up now and we'll take a look at the darts. So there we have it. Have a look at these beautiful darts. So we'll just have a quick look. It's the regular Simon Whitlock design. Starts off with your long tapered nose, a little bit of a, uh, Sort of, it's a, wouldn't say it's a razor grip on there. It's just a, maybe just a triangular ring cut and just the smooth sections, just a little bit more suppressed into the barrel with the gold coating and another two sections of the triangular ring grip just before some flat cuts on the top of the tapered section, just for a little bit of grip, I suppose. Uh, the, the, Trademark Simon Whitlock scallop and just the razor grip coated in gold at the back and just a slight taper at the end of the dart. These do look amazing. 
So stats and dimensions on the Simon Whitlock darts. These are a 90% tungsten barrel. They are 23 grams in weight, 7.5 mil thick at the thickest point with the scallop, a 5.2 millimeter width. Overall, the dart is 50.8 millimeters in length. Now, match weighting. First dart, 23.16, 23.14, ooh, 22.83. So a little bit disappointing there on the last dart, but nonetheless, we will push through. If we're doing a Simon Whitlock dart review, we're gonna do it properly. I've got some 45 mil dart points here. We're gonna shove them on just like Simon uses and see how they go with them as well. So I'm gonna fit them guys. I'm gonna go straight at the board and see how they fly. Here we are to the board with the Simon Whitlock special edition darts from Winmore. Let's see how we go with these. Uh, another lacklustre effort to the bulls there. Very far to the right. Dart connect that will throw first. Just a quick Simon Whitlock fact before we start the throwing. Did you know it takes Simon Whitlock nine hours to re-braid his hair? Nine hours. And here he is, stepping up to the hockey. Nice straight start. Yes, yes, a good 60 to start off with. Very nice darts there from a shoe dog. Dart connect app. Going along at a good clip early. Yeah, triple 20 there. And another triple 20 to follow it. 140 scored. Going along very well early is the dog. 3 one remains after 6. Man, that one slides into the one, unfortunately. And triple 20 again. Can he load another one in? No. Just a touch high there. 81 scored. Going along into a very, very nice clip so far. And he fires a couple into the five here. And he gets the 20. 30 scored. He'd be disappointed with that visit. Darts got away with him there, got away from him there. Dart connect app. A while back. Snares the triple twenty on the last dart. He needed that. 85 scored, 105 left. Can he take out a three figure finish here? He's loaded one of the five. And then just really let one loose into the 12. And he's gone down to the 17s. And he sits there and he's scratching his head a little bit. He realised it's 34 scored in a minute. I think he's got it. Yes, he's finally worked it out. 71 left next visit. Dart connect up on 198. Cannot finish, but can put the pressure on. 121 left for Dark Connect App. He's gone down to the 17s. 54 remains. Thinking about it. Into the 14s. And a lovely three dark combination there from the Shoe Dog. Excellent doubling. And he takes out the first leg. All right, let's just go through the game recap. Uh, first leg really good. Uh, really happy with the scoring and the outing. Uh, from then on in, it is just an absolute shit show. Uh, next leg, 32 darts win, and then, you know, 36 and 27 dart losses. The last two legs are really, really bad. Uh, I was quite hungover when I was doing this. I don't know why I did it hungover. Maybe I just like uh, a sucker for punishment. But uh, overall, or I probably let the darts down a little bit, but that first leg was probably right. I reckon that's where the uh, Simon Whitlock sort of darts fit. Yeah, healthy average, really nice, the throw. But, uh, yeah, so the first leg, really good. Next three, really bad. Final thoughts on the Simon Whitlock Special Edition darts from Winmore. 
Uh, first off, I'll say they are a very great looking dart. I love the, the colour design, the coating, the style of the barrel. It all come together really well and I was really happy with that. The design of the barrel was really good too. Uh, it gave me a great reference point when gripping the dart. I was confident I was having a consistent grip every time I was stepping up the throw of the Ocky. So apart from the match weighting, the overall quality of the dart was fantastic. The points, the standard points provided worked really well on the board. The Vectra stems are always good and I was really happy with the Winmore flights provided too. They were really good quality flights. Things I particularly didn't like about the Simon Whitlock uh, Special Edition darts, they were probably a little bit one dimensional when throwing. I think they'd suit a much faster, harder throwing player than rather a lob player like myself. I tend to slow my throw down a little bit and with the Simon Whitlock darts, I just found that the softer you sort of throw, the more they moved around a bit in the air. So they are a little bit one dimensional in that aspect. But overall, if you're a nice hard player, I suggest picking a set of these up because uh, I think they will suit you down to a T. When throwing the darts, I found you have to really respect them. Uh, they can get away from you quite quickly in the throwing part there. Some of the, my double outs were absolutely atrocious and that was not because of the darts so much. I was just having a really bad day, trust me. They could easily get away from you and you just needed to be a bit more careful when throwing the darts. Overall ratings of the darts, I gave the grip level a 7 out of 10. Uh, the razor grip on the back, probably just a little bit too over grippy for my preferred liking, but the rest of the barrel wasn't too bad, wasn't too grippy, but that highest point at the back, definitely a 7 out of 10. I gave the overall design of the Simon Whitlock darts a 9 out of 10. Fantastic design, uh, lovely tapered front, great for grouping. Yeah, it worked really well with the hard throw. Overall quality, uh, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, match weighting was the only thing I found wrong with the overall quality of the darts and probably just cost them that two and a half points. But from everything from the standard points provided to the flights, Winmore have done a fantastic job with these darts. Performance, I gave them a 6.5 out of 10, just with what we touched on. Uh, very one dimensional sort of a dart. You'd have to have that really hard throw. And overall, I did struggle a little bit in the throwing video, but I still had a lot of fun throwing them and they're still a lovely dart. Value. Now I got these darts for 110 Australian dollars, uh, which is for a special edition dart of this quality isn't too bad. Of course, uh, if you want to go a cheaper option, the Simon Whitlock Urban Grips and the standard tungsten barrels. Uh, $90 and $55 respectively. So a lot better value there if you're looking for your value, but overall value for these special edition darts, seven out of 10. So my overall rating for the Simon Whitlock special edition darts is a 7.5 out of 10. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It means the world to me. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Happy Australia Day.